Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Lex and Ray with another video. As some of you might know already, I have no makeup on. I have absolutely no makeup on. Your girl woke up like this, kind of, to some degree. Not really. Um, I washed my face already, but I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, as some of you may know, my acne has always been crazy. Like. I don't know like I have under eye hyperpigmentation and dark spots and then I get acne because of my period and things like that but these past I want to say eight weeks I've started to see a lot change in my skin along with some of my friends as well um I don't know if you noticed but like I'm glowing and I don't know like for someone that's always had issues with their skin like I feel very comfortable now in my skin just because of how it is and um i wanted you all to know exactly what i did to get here so i am going to put before pictures so you guys see what i'm talking about um probably from december and january because my skin was just unnecessarily all over. it was just all over the place like i had to always cover my dark marks always make sure you know it wasn't showing through my foundation but as you can see and i did this in natural light on purpose i wanted to show you how it looks in natural sunlight you know I still have a long way to go I know but like I'm starting to look real scrumptious you know I'm starting to feel myself so I want y'all to feel yourself too if you want to see my everyday morning skincare routine please make sure that you keep watching this video if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video like come on like come on like just like it you know what I'm saying just like it I don't want to get too close I just feel like that's awkward but you can see my skin like you can see this is um from a recent uh period mark period bump that I got cuz you know it's that time of the year you know when it's time of the month and um I just got a bump right there but this was all clear I'm gonna put it in pictures cuz my skin has you know good days and bad days like everyone else but this is me this is me and I'm loving it. I'm actually starting to love it like oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I got to this from where I used to be okay where I used to be because we can't go back there we can't go back there so yeah let's just get straight into the video and I'll see you guys when I'm done hey y'all so the first thing your girl is going to do is just to you know clear her face of any oils unnecessary oils with my um cleansing water this has been in a couple of my other videos that i've uploaded and i'll just put it on a cotton pad and just rub it around my face um this just helps get rid of all the dirt and oil like excess oil just before i start washing so yeah definitely this was a wonderful step especially when i have makeup on just to get that excess and you know that first layer of makeup off but since it's the morning i'm really just getting off the dirt as you can see all right so now i'm just gonna go in with my favorite cleanser of all time by cetaphil this is their daily facial cleanser for oily skin um this does not dry my skin out at all i actually put two pumps on my face and i just use my hands to massage it in but you know this is a very gentle cleanser so if you have sensitive skin um it gets the job done without irritating your skin so i would definitely recommend using this product so the next thing I do is I take my washcloth and just 
you know, I'll slightly hand wash or hand rinse my face and then use the washcloth. But one thing I did start doing was I use a different washcloth every week. So I won't have that washcloth the whole month. I will try to switch out my washcloth, washcloth once a week just so that, you know, all that gook and bacteria and all this stuff isn't going back on my face. I'm just going to go in with my wonderful exfoliator. Um, it's the Pore Refining Exfoliator by Neutrogena. I'm not going to use a lot of it today. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of exfoliation because I plan on doing a chemical peel. But I'm going to use my, um, I believe it's my Vanity Planet um, exfoliating spinner. And I'm just going to do that for about a minute just to make sure I get all that extra dead skin off and to refine my pores. so now this is where the good stuff comes in i have been using the ordinary uh chemical peel as you see right here for i think about eight weeks now and oh my gosh like it has really transformed my skin like this this product bruh like i use it i think once a week um every friday or saturday and i use it for about 10 minutes as recommended but this just helps you know get rid of all the dead skin and make sure my skin is more even and you know my pores are more refined so i definitely recommend this product if you are um or you do have you know very sensitive skin make sure you test this on your hand or your arm to make sure that your body can handle all of that chemical um, when I first put it on I thought I almost died but you know the tingling went away after like 30 seconds so just make sure you're keeping it on for the recommended time So my 10 minutes are over so I'm just going to rinse my face and make sure all of the peel is wiped off and you guys will see my skin glow. All right, so now I'm just gonna restore the pH on my skin using my Dickinson's Witch Hazel Toner. This has a little bit of alcohol in it, but it really focuses on pore perfecting. Um, I don't mind the alcohol on my skin. It actually doesn't irritate it, but um, I would definitely recommend this if you do have oily skin. Again, it does not dry my skin out. It just gets rid of the excess oil or any residue that was left on my face and it balances the pH on my skin.
I'm just going to go in with my moisturizing cream from Cetaphil. This is catered to people that have sensitive skin. So I just put a dab, literally a dab on my face and I rub it all around to make sure my skin is still moisturized, even though I have oily skin because, you know, your skin will make excess oil because your face is dry, therefore causing you to have oily skin. So, you know, to combat that... <laughs> Oh, look at me. Okay. To combat that, you have to moisturize your skin even though you have oily skin. All right, so this is how my skin is looking now, baby. You no, know, I was looking crusty and oily this morning, but now I'm starting to look, you know, awake um i do not do the ordinary uh chemical peel every day just because it's damaging to the skin you have to make sure you do it once a week for 10 minutes because you do not want the damage you only want to have it on to the point where it's working and then once it goes past that time it starts to do other things that can damage your skin so just keep it on for the um, recommended time i usually do 10 minutes like once a week in the evening, but because, you know, we're in quarantine, <laughs> we in quarantine, you know what I'm saying? I just did it this morning because I'm not going outside. So yeah, this is my skin, like, oh gosh, like I, I know I don't have flawless, glossy air looking, freaking Rihanna skin, but my skin is Alexa skin and I'm loving it, okay? Um, and I'm also loving my hair, like, oh gosh, if you want to know what I did with my hair, please check out above I will link it I'm really loving it like I just oh god and another thing that I wanted to mention too the products that I've been consistently using like I have not you know wavered my routine at all it's helped with my oil because I noticed in my um, my makeup and my routine with makeup has gotten a lot easier because I take the necessary um, precautions before I do my makeup to make sure that my skin is not oily throughout the day. And it usually helps, like, it's starting to help a lot in terms of my, um, the way my makeup lasts throughout the day because I used to look like I was sweating all the time, like, all the time. But now it's like, okay, you know, you're looking slightly, you know, shining a little bit like a diamond, but you're still cute, you know what I'm saying? So, I just follow this routine. I'm telling you, if you have skin like mine, follow it purchase it I'll leave links below we need to we need to glow even if we inside because of the corona we need to glow thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful for you guys if it wasn't I'm sorry you know I'm, I'm not a dermatologist I'm just a girl in her room you know trying to take care of her skin <laughs> please let me know how I can help you um, yeah, so make sure that you leave your questions and comments down below in the comment section and I will see you guys soon.